Hello guys, welcome back to the video from the Innovators. Today's video is one of the most requested video after we uploaded the Tinkercad version of the password protected door lock. And today we are covering the hardware of that project, so stay tuned. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, please do it to watch our latest uploads as soon as possible. Let's get started. This is a small model of the password protected door lock system. You can see there are 4x4 keypads right in front alongside the door of the model. But we will only be using the 4x3. There is a small difference between them. In 4x4, we have a column of A, B, C and D. In 4x3, this column is not available. Moreover, in this circuit, we need an Arduino, some jumper wires, a servo motor, LCD of 6x12 and a 9V battery. And most importantly, we need a 10 kilo ohms potentiometer and a 220 ohms resistor to control the brightness of the LCD. Let's move towards the building process. To control the brightness of the LCD, we need to connect one terminal of the 220 ohm resistor to either side pin of the 10 kilo ohms resistor. After that, connect the VSS pin of the LCD to the opposite end pin of the 10 kilo ohms potentiometer. This end of the potentiometer is also connected to the ground pin of the Arduino. VDD pin of the LCD is connected with the connecting terminal of the 220 ohm resistor and the 10 kilo ohms potentiometer. This point is also connected with the 5 volts pin of the Arduino. Furthermore, the middle pin of the 10 kilo ohms potentiometer is connected with the V out pin of the LCD. Moreover, RS pin of the LCD is connected with the A0 analog pin of the Arduino. RW pin of the LCD is connected with the ground pin of the Arduino. Other terminal of the resistor is connected with the A of the LCD. E pin of the LCD is connected with the A1 pin of the Arduino. D4 pin of the LCD is connected with the A2 pin of the Arduino. D5 pin of the LCD is connected with the A3 pin of the Arduino. D6 pin of the LCD is connected with the A4 pin of the Arduino. D7 pin of the LCD is connected with the A5 pin of the Arduino. K pin of the LCD is connected with the ground pin of the Arduino. After you are done with it, let's start the wiring of the keypad. We use the 147 column and in this circuit we are not using the A, B, C, D column. So we aren't connecting any jumper wires from those pins. For all the pins that starts from 147 column till the end, we connect them to the digital pin of the Arduino, which starts from D1 to D7 respectively. Now it's time for the connection of the servo motor. First, let's discuss the colors of the wires and what do they represent. Brown wire is for the ground, red wire is for the positive and the yellow wire is for the signal. Servo motor ground is connected with the ground. Servo motor's positive is connected with the VCC and its signal pin is connected with the D9 pin of the Arduino. Finally, we are done with the circuit building and it's time to upload the code. This is our code. We just check our tools for the options about our board and our connected ports before uploading. After the checking is done, compile and run the code on the Arduino UNO. You can find the code in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.
After uploading the code on the Arduino, we had to connect the 9V battery for the supply of the Arduino and the rest of the circuit. From the 10 kilo ohms potentiometer, you can control the brightness accordingly. Let's check the working. Firstly, the LED screen asks us to enter the password, which is basically stored in the program for the verification. As we input 123321 the password, LCD immediately replies as door is open. Other operations. When you press hash, LCD replies as door is closed. And if we press the wrong password, the LCD replies invalid password. And the servo motor does not rotate. Basically, when we enter the correct password, our servo motor moves through, which is attached to the door, and the door will open. When we press hash on the keypad, servo motor moves back to its original position, and the door will automatically close. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and also subscribe our channel to watch our latest uploads as soon as possible. Also join us on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. See you guys in the next video shortly. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Peace out.